Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. It's Sean and we are here with Sean K's Beauty Bar where we grab from the bar and discuss all things beauty. If you're new to my channel, do subscribe, give it a thumbs up. Um, leave your questions in the comment section below. I feature them on Monday, Wednesday and Friday, anything related to beauty and skincare. So one of the questions that I got was from Amy and she asked about dark spot correctors. Are they worth it? Are they worth the hype? Also, I got a question from IDK on my channel that also asked about how do I get rid of my acne scars and hyperpigmentation. Now, uh, if you guys re remember, if you're um, a subscriber that's been with me for a while and watched the video that I did, I'll leave the card right here. It's really talking about hyperpigmentation and taking a deeper dive and really breaking that down, what it is, um, the best treatment, and um, how to effectively get rid of it. However, remember that every single scar that we see on our face is not from acne scarring. It could also be melasma, that from the sun, um, and really want to make sure that what you're treating is actually what it is. So I w can we be just honest for a second? The strongest suggestion that I will give to you right now is to see a dermatologist or an esthetician. These are the professionals who can look at your skin type and tailor products specifically to your needs and they'll know exactly what's going on with your skin. That's my first suggestion. However, if you still want a really good dark spot corrector, that is going to work. I'm gonna suggest these correctors to you because I do know that we are struggling with the dark spots and the hyperpigmentations and the melasma, and we want to get rid of that. Nobody wants to see the scarring on their face, and I get it. We want clear skin. So let's take a deep dive into dark spot correctors that work and the key ingredients that you need to be looking for in your dark, sp dark spot corrector if you opt out of using any of these three, um, but look for these key ingredients. So that's what we're gonna jump into right now. Now there are plenty over the counter dark spot correctors and hydroquinone is still the golden standard by which uh, dermatologists will recommend for getting rid of dark spots. Over the counter is about 2%, but if it's prescription, it's gonna be more of 4%. However, again, there is a lot of controversy with hydroquinone um, just because it can cause some, some irritation to the skin. Um, if you're pregnant, it can cause some side effects there. So that that um, product, that ingredient, that ingredient is really controversial, but it is still the golden standard for getting rid of dark spots. So let's talk about some other key ingredients that um, will actually block um, those melanocytes from pushing out mel melanin, which is actually protecting you, right, from the sun and it brings about that discoloration um, when there's any, you know, injury to the skin. But let's go ahead and, and talk about that. So you can look for some key ingredients like kojic acid, soy, um, there's also the licorice extract root, vitamin C, niacinamide, retinoids when battling dark spots. There is also some dermatologists that would recommend uh, papaya, turmeric, and lactic acid that has brightening properties as well. So that might be something that you want to opt for. Now here are some of the side effects, guys, because once you start using these products, you may experience some redness, some flaking, some dryness. Especially if you're a woman of a deeper skin tone like myself, um, you want to definitely um, really take care of your skin when you're using like your glycolic acid, your citric acid, lactic acids, um, you know, making sure that you're wearing a really good sunscreen because again, these are brightening agents and you know, it can lead to even more increased hyperpigmentation, which is what you don't want. So um, I would say for anyone using brightening products, you wanna use these for, for one, A, at night, which most dermatologists will tell you, which some people are saying on this platform that, oh no, just use it during the daytime and put on some sunscreen, you're gonna be okay. I 
side with the dermatologists that say use the brightening agents at night. One thing about vitamin C, um, it is a very unstable, um, you know, chemical. So you want to make sure that you're getting it in its most stable form, which is the ascorbic acid. Um, so be careful with that when you're using vitamin C products. But if you can opt for either getting your, your brightening treatments at a dermatologist in the evening so that you're not overexposed to the sun or doing your um, brightening treatments with your dark spots at night and then putting on your skincare products and then going to bed um, and then in the morning put on sunscreen I would opt out of using your skin brightening products during the daytime or anything with vitamin C because that too can lend to more hyperpigmentation which people are not saying on here but is the truth. So um, yeah, let's move on to those products that actually will work for you. So the first product that I know to work and my family members have used this, and this is the Oleic Henriksen Vitamin C Serum. This works beautifully. It's packed with vitamin C, actually is known for brightening your skin, giving you a beautiful clear skin tone. Again, use in the evening. Um, and use a sunscreen in the morning has racked up I guess 130,000 plus likes loves on Sephora but use it at nighttime um, I don't think it's that pricey try to go through their website because if they give you an incentive for signing up you may get it for less than what Sephora has given it to you at I think I saw a $73 price point at some point but that's a bit up there. I don't remember spending that. So um, definitely see if you could go through Ole Henriksen's website to see about this product. Okay, so in Asia, we know that um, getting rid of dark spots and, and really shielding the face is something that that culture is huge on. And this product that I'm going to recommend right now is one of the cult products that a lot of Asians would purchase to help prevent dark spots from happening because it is a preventative and it's also a treatment and that is the Kiehl's Dark Spot Corrector. This is pricey, okay? And when I was home in New York uh, on Montgomery at the Kiehl's store, so many people came in, Asians came in, um, you know, people of my skin tone came in and they bought this Dark Spot Corrector and the guy said, they just love this stuff. It does work. So um, I would definitely say if you're Asian or you're Hispanic where hyperpigmentation is prevalent and it changes brown or gray, you definitely want to um, get your hands on this. And if you're of darker skin tone and you know that you just you want to prevent it from happening and you also want to treat what you have presently, this would be the product to use. It's $52, but again, you guys know Top cash back, buy it online, sign up for e-list. I'm all about that so that you can get at least some bang for your buck and a discount for something that's this pricey, but it actually works. So that's my next recommendation. That's number two. And the last recommendation is going to be, drum roll please, Clarins Mission Perfection Serum. This has acerola extract as well as vitamin C and puts you on the path to having clear, radiant skin. So these are my three um, recommendations. The Clarence is about $62.90. Um, again, the Clearly Corrective by Kiehl's is $52. And I've seen Olea Henriksen, their Truth Serum go all the way up to $73. So I don't know if that's still that price point, I would definitely check that out. But these are the dark spot correctors that are going to work. I'm sure there's others that are out there, but these are the top three that I'm gonna to recommend to you for 2019 <laughs> to really help you treat your dark spots. But again, guys, again, my disclaimer is go to a dermatologist and let them take a proper assessment of your skin to make sure that what you're treating is from an acne scar and not from anything else. All right, so if you guys have any questions, definitely leave them in the comment section below. Um, I did um, actually mention some other ingredients that you can look at, lactic acid, soy, um, 
you know, a lot of berry extracts, they also work. But remember that dark spot correctors, as well as if you're taking the homeopathic route, they do take time. It's about, I, I think it's like three months if you're, or more if you're doing homeopathic remedies. And, you know, these dark spot correctors take a couple of months as well. So don't expect it to be like a quick, immediate fix in like a week, two weeks. Let's be realistic, you know, um, because if you're, you might see something happening, um, on the surface, but these products really have to get under the surface um, and really deal with that pigmentation as well. So hopefully, uh, Amy and IDK, this provides you with some clarity and I'll be happy to answer any other questions that's coming in the comment section below. I love you guys so much and um, give this a thumbs up, subscribe, share, and I'll see you guys on Friday. Take care.